Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. Today I am opening a happy mail from Krista from Crafting Ki or Crafty Kitty. And she is a lovely person. She has wonderful um, DIYs and decor and all kinds of um, videos. She does a lot of hauls. She gets great stuff at thrift shops. And Krista, I have to say, I wish I lived where you did because your your hauls are so good. You've got so much better stores than we do where I am. But anyway, she sent me this darling little card with a little personal note. Isn't that so cute with the two cats on it? And you know, this is right up my style. I love whimsical um, animals, whimsical faces, and so on and so forth. So that was perfect. Thank you, Krista. Um, now, I have opened the box, um, and Krista, you did a bang-up job making sure that no one was going to get in this box. <laughs> it is wrapped with this cutest duct tape with the sock monkeys, and something that y'all don't know about me, I used to collect sock monkeys when I lived in my other house. Um, I did get, get rid of most of them when I moved um, to this house. Uh, because I had didn't have the room for them, but I, I collected vintage sock monkeys and I had quite a few of them So I love this sock monkey tape. So this is what the inside of the box looks like <laughs> Excuse me, and I am putting Krista's information her channel is going to be linked below Please check her out. She's she's got an awesome channel. So I've got all this beautiful orange tissue paper, you know, I'll be playing with that See, only us junk journalers get excited about the packaging, right? Well, I guess that maybe two-year-olds when you get them a toy and put it in a box, right? They play with the box. It's like us junk journalers, right? Okay, hold on a second. Let me see here. I might have this upside down. Let's see, this way here. Okay, we've got some napkins. I love napkins. Oh, this is cute. It says squeeze the day and it's got a lemon on it. How cute is that? This is cute for summer coming up. Thank you so much. And look, a flamingo. He also is very summery. I like him. And I'm sorry, you might hear Holly in the background because she, it's, she thinks it's her dinner time. It's actually not. And then some beautiful Christmas napkins with the poinsettias and pine. Those are beautiful. Those are really, really pretty. I'll definitely be using those. And look at these cute Nomi ones. Oh, how cute. And you know, here's another thing that um, I don't think many of you might know this. You might, I don't know. But I do have a glue book that is completely Christmas and I work on it year round. So some of these might be ending up in, in my glue book because these would make beautiful black backdrops. And this is... Um, Mistletoe, mistletoe. I was like, what's that stuff you kiss under, right? This is mistletoe right here. Beautiful. And then, oh my goodness, look at these birds here. How sweet are these? Oh my goodness. Now, I'm definitely going to have to share at least one of these with my uh, friend. She is a bird nerd. She will love these. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And there's a lot of use out of those because there's a there's printed on all four layers. And then, oh my gosh, did you make these, Krista? These little straws, look, with the unicorns on them. How cute are these? Oh my goodness. Did you make those? You, did you get straws and put the unicorns on them? How cute are those? Oh, those are very happy. Those make me very happy. One of those, matter of fact, I'm gonna stick them in right now. I have a little cup on my desk here. And he sit, he, one of them is going to sit looking at me at my desk. This desk. I have two desks, so I can actually put one on the other desk, too. Ooh, and she sent me some orange and black straws. Nice. Very nice. I don't have a lot of straws. That's something I don't have. Ooh, and I love this. Look, this is... um. It's wired, and it's got leaves on it. Oh, my gosh. Now... I'll definitely be using this. I have a um, craft I'm making that, you know, I do the craft shows in the fall um, with Christmas items and stuff, and I'm making some uh, crafts that I can use this on. This is so fun. Although, you know what would be really cool would be somehow to weave that in and out of the spine of a journal. Wouldn't that be awesome? 
Okay, uh, the, the wheels are turning here. The wheels are turning. And she sent me these beautiful flowers. These are Craft Smart. Uh, I, who is Craft Smart? Um, is that is that Michael's? I don't know, but they look like Prima. These are gorgeous flowers. Look how beautiful they are. And I actually have some paper. Let me see if I can get... I think if you all watched one of my videos, um, we did a series. Uh, it was a challenge, and we were making... Uh, I made this booklet for storing ephemera from the Prima Princess collection. And these flowers will go beautiful with this. I do have the, um, this is all just the small ephemera. I've got all the paper and stuff in a different location, but those flowers are gonna go great with that package. And then we've got this. Oh my goodness, look, paper clips. Oh, I love this. This is interesting. Where, I don't, American Crafts. Now, that's Michael's, right? Or is that just its own and you can get it at Michael's? I don't know. I've never seen this before. It's got these beautiful um, paper clips, like these big chunky paper clips. Then it's got different sequin. And I don't know if you can see how, I'm sorry about the glare, how gorgeous these sequins are. They're like iridescent pinks. And then it's got these beautiful little wood veneers that look like leaves. Isn't that interesting? Okay, uh, um, challenge accepted, Krista. Challenge accepted. Oh, and look at these. These are little bridge tallies, vintage bridge tallies. I love little vintage bridge tallies. I can see all the little ladies sitting at the um, at the the card tables with their gloves and everything on. And here's some more ephemera. This is um, is this. First rubber, second rubber, third rubber. Is that a bridge term? I don't play bridge myself. No, I don't think so. I, this is a different game. We, they, we, they. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. It is. If you all know what, when you have first rubber, second rubber, third rubber, what is what game is this? I don't know. I don't play bridge, so it might be another term for bridge. I have no idea. Ooh, and then I've got these cool receipts. Oh, these are cool. Look at this. It's a whole a section from uh, a receipt book, and it looks like they might be carbon because there's two. Yeah, I bet they're car You know, when you write, it goes through. Oh, I love those. Yep, journal material for sure. And then look at this cute little stationery. Enjoy the little things. Krista, these things are so perfect for t putting in journals, you know, pockets. Well, I guess you know that. That's why you sent them to me. <laughs> And look at these butterflies. Oh my goodness. Look at these butterflies. These are fabulous. Oh my goodness. Where did you get these? Look at these. They have they have different sizes, but not only are they printed, I don't know if you can see. I, I have trouble seeing them on my monitor here. They're foiled as well. They've got foiling on them. These are gorgeous. Oh, oh, I love those. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> and then here we have two, four, and then they're square. Okay, so these are also for some game. Oh, this says teacher created materials. Okay, so this must be some game that a teacher plays. But it looks like, I don't know. I'm not sure. If you're a teacher, let me know what this is for because it looks like you put two, who it goes to, and then four, and then is this a grading thing? Because this one has like all grading terms on it. I don't know, but that'll be fun. And again, this one right here, it's specifically with the trunk, looks like spring, uh, summer, which is coming up, although I wouldn't know it today. It is freezing cold. Look, I'm back in my two layers of, two layers of shirts. It, the other day I was wearing a t-shirt and I was hot. Now it's back down to actually where it should be, and it's it's chilly. And then this is um, something else. It's a card, and it says occasion, date, and comments. Now I wonder if this is like a gift something where you write what the occasion was, the date, something like that. But these are nice. These are cards. These are actual um, cardstock. 
So these will make great tags and stuff like that. Thank you. Ooh, and then this is wallpaper. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. This is a wallpaper border. And look at the look at the little fairies on there. They are fairies because each one has little wings. This one's sitting on a flower. This one's looking in a flower. Look at these beautiful girls here. Oh my gosh, you know, they are going to have to be cut apart because they are just gorgeous. Then I can stretch that paper. That's lovely. Oh yay, more wallpaper. Look at these pretty flowers. These are these look like Gerber daisies, what we call Gerber daisies. When I got married to my husband, I had a bouquet of Gerber daisies and they were bright oranges and bright pinks and they were stunning. And that this reminds me of those. Wow, I've never seen any of these types of wallpaper borders. And then look at this one with chickens on it. Oh my goodness. Look, oh, wait, okay, I say chickens, but I think that might be a rooster right there, right? <laughs> that's a chicken, that's a rooster. But look there in the sunflowers. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, I, I'm going to get so much use out of these. Oh, Krista, thank you so much. She said she put this stuff together and hoped that I can use it. Well, she must really know me because I love all of this stuff. This is just great. Then she sent me this little pad. It is, a, oh, one of the mini pattern paper pads. This is a Christmas one, and it's, um, it doesn't say... Oh, okay, so this is Dollarama. Now, we don't have Dollarama here in the United States, at least not in Virginia where I am. We do not. This is so cute. Happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. This is all um, Christmas paper, and this is right up my alley for when I do my woodland one. Um, it's got beautiful papers, and they are all, oh, look at this one with the pine cones. It's pine cones and dried lemon, uh, or orange. Oh, which I love dried orange in uh, at Christmas time. These are fabulous paper. Oh, and my favorite pine cones with the pine. And then this one is pine cones with the pine, but it's got gold foiling around the edge. That's interesting. Wow, and this is a Dollarama product. This is really nice. This is heavy duty paper too really nice and this one's got ice skates and lollipops and then it's got the oranges again and then here's the other one and it's got the foil wow this is fabulous these are gorgeous gorgeous papers and definitely definitely along the line of the woodland um okay so this one is just the white trees on the green paper and then this one is green paper with foiled trees. So some of these papers in here are foiled and some are not. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Krista. I love anything Christmas related because I do so much Christmas crafting. Um, and that's where I really use everything up and I, then I don't have anything else. And these are um, stickers for Valentine's Day. Oh, and they're in French. Oh, wow. Okay. I did take French in high school, so I can read these. Oh, that is really cool, because see, that's something we don't get here, but I guess in Canada, you do get more things in French, right? Love these. Oh, thank you. And then what is this? This is 20 sheets of metallic paper. Oh, okay. I... I thank you, thank you, thank you for it. I have seen you haul this before, and I think also um, some other Canadians. Was it Tina Epp or Tina Kazarian? Maybe is this a dollar? A dollarama? Yep. See, gosh, I wish we had a dollarama up here. Sorry for the reach. Um, I've seen you guys haul this before. Now this is metallic paper, but it's adhesive. And I love this. Look, you get this, um, what would this be? This is like bronzy kind of color here. And then there's gold and then there's silver. And these are adhesive sheets. Now, when I've seen you guys haul this, my mind goes automatically to die cutting. 
and making stickers out of it. I let me know. Let me know if any of you have done this. If any of my Canadian viewers or Krista, have you done? Have you ever run this through a die cutting machine um, and tried that? Um, oh, okay. It says compatible with most leading cutting and embossing machine. Ooh, embossing it. I know I didn't think about that, but that's another thing. So that is what it's for. It's for die cutting. So look how brilliant I am, right? <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Um, this is um, this is like a copy of a famous painting, which we all know, but it's like an oil painting that is it mounted on this cardboard uh, cardstock frame here, and then there's a de declaration of authentic authenticity. This is Sistine Madonna. This was Raffaello Sanzio who did this. This is Raphael's Angels. Um, and you know, everybody, you all have seen this before. Um, isn't that beautiful? I'm thinking journal cover for that. That is gorgeous. And then here's some more of this paper, this teaching paper for the summer journals. And here's some more of the uh, pad. And I love this. I'm going to have a lot of fun decorating these things. And then, she, oh, here's another one of those pads that got separated then. Here's a little uh, packet of stationery. And it's, ta it's like labels. And then look at these amazing gold, rose gold corners to hold the cards in. Um, who is this? This is American Crafts. One Canoe 2. These are beautiful. These labels and stuff are absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I, I, I'm working on a new prayer journal. And it would be actually awesome to put some of the, these in the... Uh, not a prayer journal. A gratitude journal. To put those in my gratitude journal. And look at this. Oh my gosh. This is ribbon. Fabric ribbon. How cute will this be on the sides of pages or even to make tabs to just, you know, staple on his tabs. I love it. This is beautiful. These colors are just gorgeous. That'll go with a lot of things, too. Um, as a matter of fact, last night I was fooling around making some painty papers, but the colors in this one kind of go right with this one. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Then we've got some, I'm going to take a wild guess that this is Japanese, and I could be way wrong. I have no idea what this is. It came from a, yes, is it a Japanese catalog? Is it, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out some, there's like one English word, and that's just the kumoshupen.com. I'm going to say that that is Japanese. Um, and it looks like it, they're all numbered. I don't know. Kitty, what is this? What is this? Because I know that you know a lot about these Japanese, and it looks like it's a Japanese um, something for children because it's got this on it here. And I know you're really big into this. But I love this paper, not only for uh, journaling, but actually mostly for mixed media. I will probably be using this for mixed media. And then we've got these little uh, punch outs of these little animals. Oh, look how cute these are. And see these little things, I'll use these on um, like my gratitude journal and things like this. How fun. And the frames punch out. And then all these little things, like this has the four corners, that punches out, the little candles punch out. Look at that cat. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So cute. And then this looks like some more Japanese things here. Yeah, it's definitely for kids because the graphics are very childlike, which is right up my alley because I am a big kid. Oh my gosh, I love these. But the writing is so cool. That's where, I, like, right here where there's no picture, where I think this would be so cool in uh, mixed media. Oh, I love those. Can't wait to do play with those. 
Oh, and then this is from a list pad. It says weekly list. Oh, this is cool. I might actually use these. I'm not using these for journals. I probably will use these for myself. It, it's like a calendar, like a to-do thing. And, <coughs> excuse me so much. Um, I, I have lists about lists about where my lists are and which lists are lists because I am a list maker, so I love this. This is really pretty. And look at the beautiful flower border. Love that. Wow, Krista, you really are spoiling me here. Look at this paper with this giant mason jar on it. And it's it's nice and thick, and it's double-sided. Look, the back is just the... Oh, how cute are these? Oh, my gosh, these are adorable. You know what I'm thinking about this? This would be really cute to make, like, a big banner with these jars on it, wouldn't it? And then, like, decorate each one. I love that. This is this is going to be fun to play with. That is definitely... Well, everything you've sent me is going to be fun to play with. And then here's some more layered paper um, stickers. Oh, these are Hallmark ones. And I don't know if you can see. It says two sheets. And these ones, these big ones here, are puffy stickers. But all these ones in the back are stickers, too. All these other little things. But they're one-dimensional. How cute are they? I love Hallmark things. Very cute. And then I think just this is just some paper. Let me see if I can pull this out without bending it. Let me get the box out of the way. And I, like I said, I will be using that orange uh, tissue too. Ooh, this is a pretty piece of paper. This is cardstock, a really heavy cardstock. And it's gold. It's gold embossed. This is gorgeous. Wow, that would make a beautiful journal cover in itself, wouldn't it? Because it's so nice and thick. All right, we might be doing that. And then she sent me some paper. Oh, that she stamped. Oh, Krista, you would made this. How beautiful. She stamped onto um, music sheets. Look how beautiful this is. I'm going to have to make a summertime journal because of all the summer stuff that you put in here and put some of this stuff in. Look how beautiful. Oh, Krista, thank you so much. I just really appreciate everything that you sent me. Everything is so special. And um, it really, really means a lot to me. And, you know, she apologized in my note for it being so long because she was actually going to send this to me last summer, I believe. But tragically, she did use, lose one of her fur babies. And I know that that's tough. Um... But um, I had completely forgotten about it, and it's a blessing, Krista, that you actually delayed to send it to me now, because if you've been following my channel, you know that I am on a low spend, no spend year, although I have spent some money, but not exuberant amounts. So getting all this stuff just means so much to me, because it's new craft supplies for me that I that I didn't have to purchase and and just knowing that you put this all together for me just really touches my heart and I thank you so much Krista thank you thank you so guys I urge you to go look at Krista's channel you won't be disappointed like I said she does some great hauls DIYs decor you name it and she's just a really uh, nice soul so please give me a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. I've been blessed and I'll be playing with all these goodies. Bye-bye.